All right, welcome people. So today I'm gonna start up about the YouTube channel thing, and I'm gonna make it a case where I'm going to do something for people because I realize that in the Jamaican YouTube space, or at least what I know of, you see me, there is no there is no channel that speaks about serious matters in a life isn't it like you know the, the mental well-being of, of people so i think that's a space where i would want to try to fill in because i think i have some valuable advice you understand so from a broad spectrum of things i'm pretty young but i think i have some good advice to offer for people based off the things that i've experienced and learned so if you're up for that please consider subscribing leaving a like on the video a share would be nice but let's get into it so today we're gonna just talk about the benefits of moving on from people right so you know people who no longer survey in life whether like in a positive manner so it could be a breakup um, I know families Family is a bit trickier, but primarily we're talking about breakups here. So, first and foremost, moving on, it it allows you to release some of those negative emotions that we all tend to hold. You know, anger, resentment, sadness. Um, these these emotions a lot of times like it weigh you down, like it really, really and truly weigh you down to the point where you kind of lose your sanity you me? and you can't walk around with the weight there on your shoulders for the rest of your life at some point in time you have to say yo you know just take this off of my shoulder and let go this you me? so you have, to, you have to just drop it just for your well-being I know I say there's a lot of people out there where myself included who give people countless chances you understand and get hurt, get hurt, get hurt until them end up hurt themselves like really bad, isn't me? So do yourself a favor and let it go. Let go the, the anger, let go the resentment, let go the sadness. Just call it a L, isn't me? Call it a L and move on because everybody, everybody in a life have them L's, isn't me? The second thing I can point out is that you will regain some of your self-worth and self-confidence when you choose to let people go because the moment you you're chasing somebody or you're holding on to somebody what the what that's saying is that that person is you you view that person as more than you so you want to hold on to them because you feel like they're the best thing since sliced bread see and you hold on to them probably because you think you can't do any better which is false there are countless people in this world countless and one person who was probably a stranger before will become a stranger once again and in doing so in letting them go you will realize that oh this person is actually just a regular person you understand is like the the image that you have in your head of this person is not true it's all your construction of what you made them out to be you get me so when you realize that I'm gone and you can actually function properly afterwards you you start for gain back some of your self confidence and say oh you know say I can manage without this person because a lot of people stay in you know toxic or unhealthy relationships strictly because of that you understand them lose them own self-worth them lose them values them throw everything through through the window <coughs> i'm throw everything through the window isn't me? just for for keep somebody around don't you ever do don't throw away your values don't don't ruin your self-worth for, for anybody isn't me? because at the end of the day the only person who will have you like right throughout your life are you and God you see me? and God no one here walk around with no 
heavy burden upon your shoulder you know what I mean? so let it go and the third thing is that moving on you, you open yourself up to new possibilities a lot of times we stay in bad situations and we close ourselves off from new experiences new opportunities that would probably even be way better than what you had previously experienced because whenever we lose people we tend to live in the past we tend to want to go back to what was and not focus on what could be you get me so the moment to start that you shut off the future and you pay attention to the past we're already gone and you you will always live in a state of regret or sadness because you cannot gain what has already passed if you understand me i say so is a minute like focus on what could be you get me focus on new things new experiences new people at one point this person that you probably meet was a stranger is it me you meet them they were a new person it was excellent never work out and now you know you have to repeat the process again so give yourself some slack and you know i say yo you know say i can i don't need this person in my life anymore you know I mean? if it a cause you immense pain sadness let it go you know I mean? there is a there's an image you must see where you know like you, you hold on upon a rope and the rope has squeezed you and sometimes the best thing in a life to do is let go the rope to ease the pain that is a good analogy for look upon what it feels like to hold on to somebody who no longer wants to be in your life you get me so yeah man do it do it do your thing let it go don't hold no resentment don't hold no grudges just let it go and live in a peace with yourself and your decisions so that is my two cents that is my advice now if I take it, it's just a, a random mute by YouTube, but I think it's good advice. So if you guys enjoy this, please, again, leave a like, comment, share, and you know, if you're willing to stick around for future videos, you can subscribe, but we'll talk again. Thanks for watching.